Okay, hello and welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to JOD Traders Tea Time with me, that is on Charles, because today is the 26th of March 2020. So, yep, welcome everyone. Welcome to this uh, Thursday's afternoon recorded session uh, where we're going to have a quick look at the markets, a few of the charts, uh, the usual stuff. But before we do that, as always, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest and we can continue. Okay, so um, also just before we jump in, a uh, quick mentioning of our GFD YouTube channel to which you can always um, subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. And of course our GFD Bank website and specifically our GFD research page which we update on a daily basis. So yep, feel free to visit us here on gfdbank.com and click on the research tab right there. So now then let's quickly have a look what's happening here. Let me just quickly refresh this page. So the number has uh, has increased um, and uh, <clears throat> So the big question here is, are we already closer to the half a million number? Uh, well, slowly getting there. Now, uh, most likely tomorrow we will be some, uh, around the half a million already. Mm, um, so be up, guys, and not really looking good. We've climbed above the uh, 22,000 deaths already. So, um, well, I mean, it seems that uh, it's still not looking good here. So, um, but as we know, as you can see in some reports, China is, um, and China and Asia are kind of coping much better than Europe is together with the United States. So again, guys, yep, continue observing the news, continue monitoring the situation here, and uh, let's see how this is going to play out. Um, now then, uh, the first chart I wanted to touch on, and that's the German DAX. Um, this morning I talked about this one, and uh, basically what I was saying that to keep an eye on this downside line taken from the high of the 20th of February. Um, but as you can see, the um, the the price is kind of balancing near this downside line. It did overcome it yesterday. It's trying to do so uh, right now as well. Um, don't get me wrong, uh, still for us to get excited about higher levels. As I was mentioning this morning, we need to see a push above the uh, this barrier here. Of course, we will start looking at this level here first, the 9,985-86 zone, but the more comfortable level for us is around the uh, 10,280 zone, which is the, uh, the low lowest point of December 2018, or in other words, the lowest point of this uh, 2018. So um, yep, keep your eyes on this one. If we do get a push above this level, then yep, maybe we'll go for a bit of a larger extension here to the upside. Um, now then, uh, in terms of the downside, if this suddenly drops lower and kind of moves back uh, heavily below the this downside line, uh, we're keeping a close eye on this little level around the 9,141 zone. Uh, this is what I talked about this morning. And uh, if we see a drop below this, then yep, we will aim for lower areas. For now, we're kind of neutral, I would say, and just observing the price action. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average. So the index opened uh, higher already. So um, here right now, um, the big question here is, uh, will this downside line taken from the um, taken from the high of the 20th of February, will it hold or, or will it get broken? Now we can see that this steeper one has been broken. It's a bit of a, it was a bit of a tentative one, but nevertheless, uh, we clear that one, we can get rid of it that one, uh, but now the main focus falls on this downside line here, and uh, we'll see how the index will behave around this line. So um, in a way, for now, yes, we are seeing a nice recovery here, a, a push already back above the, that 21,000 even barrier. Uh, and uh, the next, like I said, the next area here of potential resistance could be this downside line. So let's keep an eye on this one. If the downside line gets broken, 
and the um, the index travels above this little territory, the high of the uh, 13th of March, which is around the uh, 23,190 zone then, well, I mean, we could consider maybe a, a larger extension here to the upside. However, for now, uh, be very careful, guys. And uh, yep, like I said, we are going to be aiming higher, but uh, we want to see how this, uh, how this index will perform near the, its downside line here. Uh, near this downside line taken from the high of the 20th of February so something to consider something to keep an eye on in case this decides not to travel uh, all the way towards this downside line and starts reversing earlier um, what you could do here is uh, keep your eyes on this little territory right here, the 20,531 uh, zone. So it acted as a good area of resistance back on the 20th of March, and uh, it also acted as a good area of support yesterday. So this area here becomes a wide, quite an interesting one. So for those basically who are more on the cautious side, you could just uh, wait for a drop below this uh, 20,531 zone and then aim for lower levels um, or like I said for those who are, more, um, are, are a little bit more adventurous you, like I said keep your eyes on this downside line if we get a push towards it uh, if it gets a hold up here if the price gets a hold up here then yep we could see another round of selling but if the price starts pushing above this uh, downside line and pushes above the 23,190 zone then well this is where it could become a little bit more interesting for uh, for the buyers um, now then uh, gold very quickly on this quick update so this morning I talked about gold and and we were uh, correcting a little bit lower and uh, what I was saying that in a way it could drift a little bit lower it could test this 1575 territory but as you can see it started reversing earlier so still everything is kind of in line with in a way we will take this uh, little drop here as this uh, this correction that we were looking for um, however, like I said, we were expecting maybe a little bit of a, a, a slightly deeper uh, correction here to the downside, at least closer to the 1575 zone. But as you can see, um, the commodity is now reversing higher. Um, all focus is going to be on this barrier, the high of yesterday, which is around the 1643 uh, territory. So a nice good push above this could, yep, open the path towards higher levels. So something to consider, something to keep an eye on, guys, for now. Now, um, we are still more bullish than bearish. However, don't get me wrong, from the very short term perspective, we are uh, a little bit overstretched here to the upside. Uh, but uh, to be honest, it doesn't stop it. Um, it does it couldn't, I mean, this is not something that could stop gold right now from accelerating higher. Because as you can see here, for example, in the beginning of this month, in the first half of this month, uh, when we were selling off here, some, some were thinking maybe we were already quite extended here uh, but it continued to fall so um, that's the same story here uh, as I've mentioned earlier in my in my previous videos um, the big question here is can we um, can we recover everything what has been lost in this month now this could be quite interesting to see because we still have around let's put it that way three and a half days left it, of trading days left in this uh, in this month um, so yep uh, guys I mean let's see if the uh, if this commodity this precious metal uh, can uh, uh, recover everything so but uh, let's move step by step on this one uh, first we'll keep an eye on the 1643 zone and if that gets broken then yep we will aim for some higher levels um, AUD USD so I've looked at this one recent this week as well and uh, what I was talking about was this level right here the 0 0.6009 level so that's basically the uh, the lowest point of um, uh, the lowest point of two, uh, 2008 and probably for this one I need to jump into a monthly chart here it will be easier to see so um, there we go so this is basically the lowest point of uh, uh, of 2008 zone so um, what I was mentioning uh, this week was that if we see the monthly candle staying below this uh, below this level then yep we will consider further declines again in April and uh, yep we could even tr drift to all the way here towards the, that uh, 0 0.5509 level which is the the, the lowest point of uh, of March and probably well most likely will stay the lowest point of March unless something uh, really drastic and radical will happen in the market but again for now it seems that the 
the rate could end up oscillating around this level around this 0 0.60 mark so the psychological 0 0.60 mark and uh, let's see if um, where the um, where the monthly candle will end the uh, well this month basically and uh, where will the price uh, where we will we'll, we'll, where will the rate be according uh, in regards to this in relation to this uh, this this level? Um, basically, if we do see the uh, the rate staying above this territory, then yep, uh, we could consider maybe a bit of a larger correction here to the upside towards this downside line taken from the high of the first of January this year. So for now, uh, it's really uh, we cannot really talk much, and uh, we can only continue observing this and probably we will just keep it as it is we're not going to touch this one until the end of the month and uh, then yep we'll see we'll see how it performs um, how it performs here um, you what you could do in in a way if you still want to uh, maybe try to capture something here but uh, still again I would say it's a little bit tricky but um, if you see a daily candle a daily close above this territory here above the 0 0.6009 level then there it, there could be more chances for this one to drift higher especially if it climbs above the yesterday's high and uh, which is around the 0 0.6073 zone so if we do see a push above the yesterday's high then yep we will aim for slightly higher levels but again don't get me wrong uh, it could reverse sharply back down by the end of this month and uh, uh, by the end of the well, but by next week, and then we, uh, we could see a lot of people getting stopped out. So that's why uh, I would probably suggest to kind of stay away from this one for now and just continue observing uh, the price action. Uh, USDJPY. Now, this one I've looked at this morning and uh, I was telling you guys to keep a close eye on this upside support line. Uh, let me just quickly jump into a four hour chart. So this upside support line initially was acting as a good area of support, uh, but uh, as you can see, it got broken now, um, and uh, it's the the rate started sliding below this 109.64 territory, which is the uh, the low of the 23rd of March. And uh, if we do see this one continuing to slide, yep, then of course can, we could consider a uh, possible test of the of this 200 EMA here on the four-hour chart, which is around which could be around the 108.58 zone. So something to consider, something to keep an eye on. But as you can see, I have the arrow here. Uh, this is our uh, downward scenario, uh, downside scenario in order, let's say, uh, well, not in order, but in case this starts drifting lower and, and we see a break below this, this is where we will get a little bit more comfortable with the downside. And uh, that's why we need to see a drop below this 108.58 zone, which as you can see acted as a fantastic area of resistance previously probably it could take the role of a good support now but if that gets broken then yep uh, further declines could be possible um, from the very short term perspective for now continue observing this level here the 109.64 because if uh, the four hour candle at, le at least a four hour candle manages to close below this territory then yes we will aim uh, for this area here around this 200 uh, EMA around uh, 200, 200 EMA on the four hour chart um, for us to aim for higher levels again well I mean uh, it's a little bit of a difficult one here because uh, we would prefer to see a push above the 111.60 zone here this one right here which kind of uh, continued to hold the rate this week um, and uh, a nice good break above this 111.60 then yep would confirm a forthcoming higher high and uh, we could aim for that highest point of uh, this year which is around the 112.23 territory so again for now guys keep your eyes on this one uh, let's see how this level plays out right now the 109.64 but if we see a four hour candle closing below this this increases the chances of a potential drift lower here towards the 108.58 zone which is around the that 200 EMA on the four hour chart uh, USD CAD now uh, this is where it's something interesting um, I've looked at this one as well uh, this morning and uh, basically I was talking about 
this key area of support uh, which if gets broken could open the doors uh, towards lower levels so as you can see we did get a drop uh, quite a decent drop here and uh, but the bulls are really fighting it hard uh, trying trying to lift uh, the uh, the rate back above this territory so for now it seems that they're succeeding um, however let's continue observing this one because if we see that uh, at least a four hour candle close below this 1.4140 five zone 44 zone uh then yes uh we could uh consider deeper extensions here to the downside as you can see right now the bulls are really uh kind of really trying to battle the bears and uh for now there it seems that it's it's quite okay but however let's see if the bears can wake wake up again and uh, drive this one lower uh we are waiting for that close of a four hour candle at least below this level below this 1.41 uh, zone and then yes we could consider deeper extensions to the downside here uh, gbp chf um, now this is a very interesting uh, chart now on one hand overall yes we are still uh, trading uh, to the downside uh, but on the other hand you can see that the pair started forming uh, higher lows um, and uh, this short-term tentative downside line taken from the high of the 24th, 26th of February in a way is no longer valid. What we're going to focus now here is on this little short-term upside line. Now, let me just quickly put this one on the chart. So uh, this is that little line that we're going to uh, monitor. Um, in a way, uh, what we need here is um, we would like to see a push above this little barrier right here. As you can see, uh, this week it continues to hold the rate down, this 1.1737 zone. And uh, yesterday the uh, the pair was not able to overcome this. It tested it, but didn't quite really uh, stay above it. So. You can see that uh, then after that it drifted, tested this upside line from which it rebounded and is now pointing higher again. So uh, long story short, uh, it's probably going to be straightforward here. We, are, we need to see a push above this barrier first. And then, yep, we will aim uh, for higher areas. Uh, for now, uh, for now, like I said, we are going to remain probably somewhat neutral. Again, you can see that we are forming somewhat of a ascending triangle. According to all technical analysis rules, these tend to break to the upside. However, we've seen. Uh, the opposite happening uh, many times so that's why we will uh, mainly focus on some some key resistance and support levels so on the upside what we're looking here for is the 1.1737 um, zone a break above that could open the doors towards higher levels we could start aiming for these here uh, one of which could be at this 1.1935 zone or this 200 EMA on the four hour chart on the other hand if we see a, a break of this upside line and a drop below the 1.1414 zone uh, then this is where it could become very interesting for the sellers again and uh, we could see this one drifting to the downside maybe even going all the way here towards the uh, lowest point of March around the 1.1110 territory again for now we're probably a little bit more uh, I'll say cautiously bullish uh, because we need to see a pop above this 1.1737 uh, zone first and then we could aim for higher levels and finally euro USD so uh, here the situation, uh, cont uh, well, the pair continues to drift higher and this is what exactly was what I was talking about this morning. So um, basically what I was saying this morning in my uh, espresso, uh, in my espresso video, uh, that if the rate today, for example, continues to balance above this 1.0888 territory, then there is a good likelihood that the pair could drift higher towards this 1.0925 oh sorry 1.0953 territory here um, or even go, could go and test this 200 EMA on the four hour chart so as you can see we did manage to overcome this barrier and almost managed to test the uh, the 200 EMA here on the four hour chart however our next uh, next important target is the 1.1045 zone which is the high of the 18th of March and uh, in a way uh, for now uh, yes we will continue monitoring this 200 EMA but if we suddenly get a nice strong push above this this is where we will aim for even higher levels for now we will remain a little bit careful because like I said the, the times right now are not the easiest ones so everything can change very quickly and uh, 
And that's why we're going to, uh, from the technical side, we're going to keep an eye on some of these levels. Um, we can see that you can see that we can draw right now a nice upside support line. So in a way, if it drifts a little bit lower here, but remains above this uh, short term tentative upside line, then yep, we could aim for the upside again. But for those who are more on the cautious side, just probably wait for a break above this this level here, which is the current high of today. And that's roughly around the 1.0 nine ninety level and also we could see if we see a push above this 200 ema then yep uh higher levels could be met um in terms of the downside we'll take a very conservative approach for now um at this point probably we might shift this a little bit f a little bit further but however for now like i said we'll keep this idea the 1.0777 zone that's what we're going to be looking for in order to consider some downside so a break of b below this level below this 1.0777 could in a way uh, open the door towards uh lower areas for now for now guys uh it's looking more positive than negative uh, however, for those who are more on the cautious side, probably wait for a push above the 1.0990. For those who are more uh, risky, let's say, uh, we could maybe see here a bit of a correction. But if it gets a hold up here near this upside line, then and uh, if it continues to balance above this upside line, then maybe we could lead to a nice rebound here and a push higher again. So something to consider, something to keep an eye on, guys. And uh, yep, let's see how this is going to play out. So I hope you found it useful, guys. Um, thank you very much for kind of watching this video. And uh, yep, thank you very much for all your support and likes and, and uh, views. Um, so yep, really appreciate that. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic evening. I hope you stay safe, guys. And I'll uh, catch my video tomorrow at my, at, as always, uh, at around seven o'clock, or should I say after seven o'clock, a little bit after seven o'clock GMT time uh, my traders espresso and uh, yep we'll have a look at some of these instruments and some new ones and then yeah we'll see how everything's getting along for now have a nice beautiful evening thank you very much and bye bye